Welcome to the In My Opinion Show with Ronald Bay Robinson and Friends, seen on the internet 24 hours, 7 days a week. We're also viewed on Flint, Michigan, Comcast, uh, channel 17, every Saturday at 6, and every Wednesday at 8.30. The In My Opinion Show is also viewed on Detroit Comcast Cable, channel 68, every Sunday at 9 o'clock. I want to welcome our million, our million of viewers worldwide, and especially our very capable co-host, Mr. Denise Smith-Allen. Hi, Ron. And Mr. Henry Hatter. Happy Easter, Denise Smith-Allen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. <laughs> and let's talk about U.S. Supreme Court Justice Scalia. He's dead. President Obama has selected another in compliance with the U.S. Constitution. Why is the Republican Party so opposed? Why won't they just do their jobs and give this election a vote up or down? Henry, what's your thoughts? Well, I believe in the Biden rule. Do you know who Joe Biden is? Of course. Oh, okay. Do you know what he proposed in 1988? You're going to tell us. He proposed that the next president um, recommend to Congress who the uh, appointee should be to the Supreme Court. And that has lasted from that time to now. There's nothing wrong with letting the next president uh, choose the, uh, the, the candidate for Supreme Court. And then there, it, it makes somewhat a good sense for that because now we're moving into a new phase, a new governance body with new people, younger, free-thinking, diverse, etc. They can have the greatest impact as we move into the next decade. Okay. Now you mentioned Joe Biden for mm -hmm. a reason because, mm -hmm. of course, you know we know who he is. He's vice mm -hmm. president, mm -hmm. and at the time when he made that um, recommendation, from what I understand, that's what it was—a recommendation that people seem to have agreed with and thought was a good idea. And mm -hmm. at the time, it may have been. However, you who are always speaking about the Constitution yes. and following the rule of law, the rule of law speaks to the fact that the president, the sitting president, is the one to make that decision. So the Congress and those people who went along with that made a decision. Yes. Okay. And, and Congress can do that. Mm -hmm. And so now the president is evoking his presidential power under the Constitution that says he can do that. Mm -hmm. So what's the problem? I, I, don't, I don't have a problem, but as, as a rule of practice, uh, in this case, if it was okay for the people of, of uh, Joe Biden's uh, era to recommend that recommendation, and it lasted for 20 or 30 years. Well, Joe Biden, Biden has, has never been the president, okay? Oh, Let's not get things confused here, okay? Uh, it has to do the with reason it. why they don't want, the Republicans don't want to uh, uh, give this, this uh, uh, very, very, from what I understand, very capable uh, jurist, all uh, right, an up or down vote is because they know that uh, they want a conservative, all right? Yes. All right. They're conservative, and that's it's the main the reason the why they're not where where they're not where where where, where they're um, uh, objecting, okay? Because they want to keep status quo the way it is. What's so wrong with the way get, it is? There's a lot wrong with it. Name right? one. Okay, but here it is. This man, from what I understand, does have conservative views. In fact, of the three that was initially looked at, he represents what they represent. It's more than that from where I sit and from what I see. It's more or less about who is making decision. It's about the president. It's right. about yeah, the president. The way it, uh, it, is, it has always been that way. 
They don't Obama. want President Obama to make the call. It could have been any president. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I yes, do. Yes, they yes. have. You Republicans have, have been. They have, have done been, that for years. Been stopping, no, their issue. No, uh, program you guys put too much day one. Too much. Okay. No, 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 no. And and racism, we didn't, we didn't at, say that. Well, you, you're talking. Of all of this. You're and speaking. Racism it. is at the you're forefront. You're speaking. You're speaking. I say no. I'm saying that. I'm. I'm saying that. When the president was elected, the meeting occurred where they said we're going to make him a one-time president and we're not going to agree or do any of the things that he wants done. Therefore, we've had an ineffective Congress. We have. But we have not had an ineffective president. Yes, no, but no, we don't. have not. He, no, no, no. no. Not. I didn't say we did. But I'm saying things could have moved further along had he not had opposition from day one. For these past almost eight years, this man has had to deal with opposition. Obstruction. So did George Bush. My God. Yeah, well, well George Bush, let's not get into Abraham George Lincoln. Bush. Hang on. Because he's the one who created all of this shit that we're in right today. But the president, the current president, has to clean up whatever he created. That's his job. That's why he was elected. The people expected of him, like I expected him, and you should. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do expect him to clean it up. But when you have the ability clean to clean, 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 clean up what up the clean up the mess that was left from his president. Okay, do president. you think the next president is going to say that? Uh, Barack Obama left a mess. The first thing they want to do is undo Obamacare. That's, right. that's the mm -hmm. first that's thing right. they they that's all right. say that. Mm -hmm. They all say that. Okay, so what they're saying is we're going to undo. And if Obamacare was something that was effective for the people, it is. Mm -hmm. Then why would you want to undo something that well, was effective for the people? There, there are several reasons. You've got to think about why people want uh, some uh, uh, some reform on Obamacare. One is the cost. How it subject the next generation uh, to cost and the money that we don't have, and will subject our kids and our kids' kids uh, to uh, the responsibility of paying off the debt. That's today. strictly a, a Republican if, ideology. No, that would be a Democrat idea. No, too. absolutely but not. Look, we went from when <laughs> President Obama was first elected, we went from a ten billion dollar deficit to a twenty billion dollar deficit. I'm sorry, trillion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, guys. But no, see, 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 see. see I have to, I have, I, I have to, I have to argue up with that because the, the no, uh, stuff that. just came out is that is that the national debt has gone down oh, considerably. It's nineteen point okay. eight trillion dollars that you saw. It. Okay, that's the latest news. Now that's that's two times the debt when uh, George Bush was in. Not, and I'm not saying that the debt would have been the same or, or declined if a Republican was in there. We had some things we had to take care of. One is that the, that the Twin Towers was attacked. We had to respond to that. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and I think that we're, we've done a good job in responding to that, both Bush and uh, Obama. So you have to, some things you, you have to do because it's a thing that the American people want you to do. Right. Well, then these the Republicans need to give this selection an up or down vote. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let me say this again about, uh, <clears throat> I think uh, Denise has a point there that in the Constitution, it is the president who makes that decision, that recommendation to uh, the Senate for who serves on the Supreme Court. But then... Um, but And also, too, this same judge, all right, was unanimous, unanimously uh, appointed to his present judgeship by both, you know, by both parties. Mm -hmm. So what's the problem now? Well, you have higher stakes here. And you touched upon it already, Ron. Uh, Republicans believe in a conservative government. And so do a lot of Democrats, by the way. They have conservative Democrats. They have progressive Democrats, and they have liberal Democrats. Mm -hmm. And the bulk of the population is on who believe uh, in changing the Constitution, uh, liberalizing it in the way that the Republicans think it's, it would go uh, with a non-Republican judge is much larger than the base of the population. But isn't he a Republican? Who? 
Then this this new uh, select uh, selected uh, uh, nominee. I d I didn't think he was, but the person. I believe he is. He's uh, a Republican. Mm -hmm. So, well, so after they go through, maybe they'll decide differently. But see, I the person that I wanted to see as a nominee was uh, the president of American University. Mm -hmm. uh, a great guy, stable, secure, uh, well positioned, uh, well educated, and has a great uh, career record that he's amassed. <clears throat> But, and he's outside of the political limelight. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> I was hoping that we'd get someone who came from the outside. That would be nice. That would really be nice. But of those three, the president, President Obama, made a decision that this would be the one because he felt, I believe he felt, that he would be one that the majority of Republicans would accept. And even, like I said, even if they don't, they have their prerogative. The point is the process is already set and all they have to do is yeah. vote him in or out, up or down. But you know, I remember, and you guys probably didn't pay it any attention. <clears throat> I remember when Condoleezza Rice had to be confirmed by the Senate. Mm -hmm. You know how many people that were against her? Ranking Democrats. Mm -hmm. Pelosi, Boxer, name them. These are the people who exert tremendous authority today. There was nothing wrong with that in your idea, right? No. For them to uh, reject it, that was okay for you with you, right? Well, at that particular time, they had they had that was okay with you too. They had their but it reason. Wasn't okay with me, but mm -hmm. guess what? Yes. I saw one man stand up for. Mm -hmm. That was Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. And as I said. I would, uh, Joe Biden could have been my my candidate on the Democrat side for uh, president. Mm -hmm. Because that now his views were relevant. Okay. And Condoleezza Rice turned out to be a really a, 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 a good model for that position. Okay. So as you mentioned that process, mm -hmm. these people who voted against her did not stop her from getting in that no, position. They didn't. Okay. So that's democracy. That's democracy. That's democracy. That's how it works. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here again, you've got that same formula and all you have to do is address it the same way. Let's put this man in front of the people. But there's a process. And the process and is the being... the Democrats and Republicans have to agree. Yeah. And One has to hold a hearing. But they're not even willing to do no, it. They're not here. They're, they're not willing to do that. And who is that? Who's holding it up? The Republicans. Okay, thank you. I rest my case. Yeah. And, and, uh, <laughs> and I, 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 I think you think you won a point, but I don't think you did. No, no, I rest my case in terms of who stopped the process. Well, the process, Republican. yeah, and this is what because I'm saying. We, we want to see a conservative go into that position to protect the Constitution. And that person could or maybe not be him. The point is, they have the ability to sit and have the American people watch CNN or whoever and watch them vet him. And if they mm -hmm. make a decision that he is not our guy, then they say it and we move on. Exactly. And we move on. Exactly. Well, um, and you wouldn't be disappointed if they turned it down. Of course not. I'm talking about process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't I'm, but, but I'm process. I understand that there are two sides to this. Three. There's, there's your side. <laughs> And then there's the Republican side. And then there's and the truth. And both are, are very important mm -hmm. in this country because that's how we are, uh, that's how our government mm -hmm. works. Okay, and let me be clear. I'm a, I am an independent. Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking at both. And equally, there is, that. there's a culpability. No, 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 you do hear it. You choose not to hear it, but I say it. I'm saying on both sides, okay. if they need to but be you're addressed. you than most people. They need to, to be, be addressed. To looking at issues uh, from both sides. You're yes. Closer. Yes. But there are many people on your side that are not that way. Well, Henry, there are many people on yours yeah. that are not that way. And there I mean, are very few of those. The, they're, look. Called, they're called conservatives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And that's what makes small, America great. That's numbers. why this country is one of the best countries in I'm the world. You say that. Okay, because we have opinions that run the gamut. 
and we have freedom to express that. We don't get roused out of bed and locked up because we choose to disagree. No. Every every country, you know, things happen in nobody, various countries. Nobody have, has this kind of uh, dialogue. Right. Back and forth, but the Americans. Exactly. That's exactly. Why we need to protect it and preserve it. And we should, and exactly. we should, and that's why I say going back Even to Ron that. agrees with us. Yes, we we definitely. Well, we, I'm not so sure. I'm a pragmatist. You know, maybe that'll be the new party. Let's uh, change gears but here Ron, if we can. Hey, we need to draw this to a conclusion. So who do we go with? The Constitution, plain and simple. Okay, you you're saying that uh, the American people, in particular the Republicans, ought to reread the Constitution. Whatever and, is necessary uh, for them to abide by. They should follow the process. Uh, they the should process. follow the process. Well, I agree exactly. with you that they should follow the process. Mm -hmm. Now there's a conclusion that brings us back to the platform. Well, now we can go to bed without taking off our shirts. So. Okay. okay. Anyway, <laughs> a new president will be elected in 2016 <laughs> along with local, county, state, and federal office seekers. What must we demand of those that have the responsibility to all the people? Do we continue to go along to get along, which has not worked in many instances? Do we continue to accept lies, assaults, sexually deviance, embarrassment, fear-mongering, racist ideology, violations of human rights, and the Constitution? Do we say enough is enough and finally embrace women and minorities as equals and respect other sober, sovereign nations? We cannot continue to shy away from uncomfortable situations. It's a lot. It is. But we must try to reach. We must try to reach uh, uh, a consensus. Uh, I don't care what side of the aisle you're on, or or or, or where you or where you come from. You know. Um, but uh, uh, as we've already talked about, that you know the 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 nation is is in is in is in crisis right now. Okay, and we've got to figure out uh, uh, how to. Resolve a, 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 a lot of these issues, Denise. What? What? what uh, you have some things. Well, certainly, I am looking at the fact that you know we have these political candidates, and it's really interesting to me because I look at it. Be, uh, we've never been in a situation like we are in today. We have. Uh, Trump. We had. Uh, we have Cruz, um, a Cuban American. Um, we have um, Hillary Clinton. We know who she is, and we also have uh, uh, Bernie, and um, we know that he is a Jewish American. And I think that it's wonderful that they all have made it to this point. Mm -hmm. Okay, that just shows you the. Um, the different um, ideologies and the way America is, we're diverse and they are reflective of that. Exactly. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I think that at this point, we have to look at who has the qualification, who has served in the various capacities in local, state, and national government. Okay? So, if you look at those candidates, out of what I just said, there is a logical conclusion that you would come to. Right, Henry? Yeah. Okay? Based on those experiences. So, without having to call names, I think she would do a great job. Hillary Clinton is, the, <laughs> is, is my choice. In fact, I voted for her. <laughs> Why did not? Okay. My turn? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, let me say this first, to be fair. Mrs. Clinton is a very capable, qualified woman mm -hmm. uh, that has her grasp, not only through ability, but through experience to serve in that office. Mm -hmm. But there are things about her that are dubious. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and I, I look at you guys, where they get 95% of you to vote for her. Well, President Obama is still in the White House, and you turn your back on the president. No, you're, you I got know, things confused. You guys and nobody's see it the way other turning see their it. back on anybody. Uh, 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 he's still running this country. Of course. And everybody's waiting to uh, open up arms for her to come in. She's the only big guy. 
Her husband was a black president, and which is all ridiculous and foolish. And uh, <clears throat> I think uh, I would, and like I said, I believe that uh, our country is broken mm -hmm. badly mm -hmm. because we live in a time where uh, the intellectuals cannot hold a con civil conversation. Mm -hmm. Those intellectuals are called Republicans and Democrats, institutions of colleges and universities and folks like yourself, business people, cannot hold a civil conversation. How do we bridge that gap? That gap? Well, I don't know. I'm just talking about it now. But mm -hmm. uh, um, <clears throat> and in a way, it's all of our faults. Uh, we lay, for example, we lay all the claim on the governor for the water melee in Michigan, and nothing to the consistent operation of government where people were negligent and didn't do the things that they were supposed to do. They escaped it. And uh, without dwelling on that, but this problem in Flint should have never occurred. You're absolutely right, Henry, uh, but my question to you, let's get this back to our conversation yeah, as it relates yeah. to the presidency. Well, I'm, I'm there. I'm okay, there. okay. So again, but, when you look at qualifications yeah. and experience, mm. We and we of, and we know that that's what we it's needed in this day and time. Why would it be needed? We've had people of experience and qualification. They've done nothing but tear the country down, given us a twenty billion trillion dollar debt. Our schools are in very poor repair. Our infrastructure is in repair. Uh, are we, are we going to blame that on President Obama? Oh, no, come on. You know I won't blame that on Okay, are we going to uh, blame it on the past president gonna, before him, no, Bush? No, we're going to blame it on the American people. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, they have elected the wrong people. And, you know, not, not that they have elected the wrong people, because the American people never make an error in who they elect. And that <laughs> includes Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. They elected him. <laughs> That's what they wanted. Right. But, and I said the problem is that people who are intellectuals, we can't establish a civil conversation. We're doing quite well around this table, but the minute I leave this table, the wheels come off the cart. Well, no, no. I think you, you make a good point. And, and one of the things that I think I don't see enough of is um, debate. Okay, and when I say debate, I say that in terms of a knowledgeable debate. I'm talking about not speaking about stuff that's off the top of your head, mm -hmm. but having some facts to support what you're saying. And so we don't have enough of that. We don't have enough of that kind of engagement. And I think it is incumbent upon us to help, um, you know, kids in school uh, from elementary on up through the colleges to develop some kind of skill that means you have to research you have to understand you know if you have a position how are you going to support that position and a lot of us don't have that we don't take the time to establish it we watch tv we get the sound bites and we form judgments based on sound bites mm -hmm. instead of doing you know that's surf surface work research. instead of doing the research and so and then you have to understand that the oligarchy Okay. expects that and so we're you're right we should be doing more due diligence in trying to figure out what's going on here mm -hmm. but most of us are so caught up in the life cycle uh, you know I can't pay my rent mm -hmm. you know what I mean I you know I live in the United States yeah 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 we're not poor in the United States we're Don't not forget. we're not <laughs> comparatively speaking yeah. but there are some people who have been affected yeah. by the downturn in this economy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because yes. of that, yes. they are struggling on day to day. How do I make it? And we don't even want to start talking about other things that are happening. The drug epidemic and all these people who are on all these prescription medications that have taken people to a whole nother place. So you got all these other things. We that have are choices in this country. We Absol choose to take drugs and cigarettes. And you're you're, you're, you're absolutely okay. right. You're That's absolutely what the Constitution allows you to do. Yeah. Okay. And, but they make it they make it available. 
Well, things are available to help people with their diversion away from looking at what's going on in their lives. Mm -hmm. So they make well, poor choices. I mean, and that's an individual thing. Okay. That's an no, individual okay. thing. Okay. That's an individual thing. But, but I'm speaking that is overall. That's something that government needs to tender to. It needs to take care of services, the basic services that people need health care. Exactly. Jobs, yeah, exactly. Clean exactly. water. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are the things that we ought to do well on. And we can't, we, we cannot just pour money down a rat hole, right? <laughs> it, 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 we rat have to have plans. <laughs> we have to have, uh, and we have to know when we cannot have something. Because mm -hmm. we don't have the money to do it, mm -hmm. right? You're absolutely right. Uh, everybody sh cannot have a, ho a home as large as yours or in your community. That's impossible. And um, they should not even try to risk large mortgages that would, uh, that would put them in this kind of uh, situation like they did in the, in the early part of the 21st century. Yes. People went out and bought homes, homes. and didn't have the income to pay for them. Right. And okay, that but they were the bubble to break. Okay? Right, but they were they but were due the constitution they said that those people deserve those kind of things because that's what they wanted. And it was available. And they were duped. Just like you drank some water. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You were duped. You were told that it was good water. I wasn't duped. Okay. Well, if you were told I it was what good. I was doing. But you but you I you were told. I've water all my life and so have you. And okay. You. But you but you hear what I'm saying. Not me. You were given information and based on that information you made a decision. People who got into the housing crisis, they didn't do it with the expectation that they were going to lose their home. They did it with the expectation mm -hmm. that they were going to be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. Then somebody lost their job. And then the price went up. And, and there were other mm -hmm. things that happened. And maybe people mm -hmm. don't know that I drink city water here from this <laughs> depot. Because I believed in the institutions that was doing it. I looked at the data. And I knew. And the data taken from the distribution system. Mm -hmm. I didn't drink out of anybody's faucet. Mm -hmm. But I, the, the data that they were sending into Lansing that showed the compliance to all of those heavy metals Mm -hmm. that were uh, entrained in the water stream, that were reduced to the permissible levels in the EPA standards. And therefore, this water was meeting local, state, and federal standards. Well, this has been a, a, a wonderful conversation, but uh, Mr. Hatter, I think you were duped. Okay, just like thousands of other people, you know, around, around, around Flint. Uh, again, as I've mentioned before, Snyder, if we're talking about the water, Snyder, you know what I mean? This is his house. He was responsible. And I I'd urge everybody to vote for uh, Hillary Clinton for the next president of the United States. As well as I like, I want to see a, women, a woman in the, in the White House. All right? This is Ronald Barry Robinson and friends saying for the, for the In My Opinion show, stay focused.